Hi, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the NASB 2020 Wide Margin Reference Bible. As you can see, this is the front of the slip case it comes in. Um, it just says NASB, New American Standard Bible, Wide Margin Reference Bible, and it's got the NASB 2020 logo here. And uh, it's a really cool front to the slip case. And then here's the back. It gives you a, uh, a paragraph about the NASB. And then it lists some of the features. I'll come in a little closer so you can pause it if you want to read them. And then the ISBN is right here. If you want to pause and get the ISBN. I will also put the ISBN in the description of this video. And here's a sample of how the print in it is. For those that don't know, this Bible is the same layout as the Schuyler Striden. So I'll show you how that looks in a minute. Here's the... I don't have a Schuyler Striden, but I'm going to show you the inside of this in a minute. Um, it's blue leather text. Oh, I forgot to show you something else on the... Uh, Here's some of the features listed again on here, and it's blue leather text. And here's the cover. It's a nice blue shade of blue. And it's got a really nice texture to it. Let's see if I can kind of show it to you. It's kind of got a grain to it. So they're getting better at getting these artificial leathers to look more like leather now. Here's what the spine looks like. It says Holy Bible, New American Standard Bible 2020, Wide Margin Reference, NASB, Lachman Foundation. And then I'll show you the back of it. And it has the ISBN on it. Some people don't like having the ISBN on the back. I don't mind the ISBN being there. Um... Here's a good look at the back cover. Now, let's start looking inside it. It's a paste down liner. Presentation page. More of the presentation pages. The first title page it just says the Holy Bible. Holy Bible, New American Standard Bible, NASB 2020 Wide Margin Reference Edition, published by Lachman Foundation. And then, I get a good, today I'm just not having a good grip on pages. I'm surprised it doesn't say anything here on the copyright page that this is um, Lachman's version of the Striden. But it does say designed and typeset by 2K Denmark. Printed in Korea. And then here's the table of contents. And in the back here you'll notice it says topical indexes to the Bible. And then introductions to the Bible and parables of Jesus, miracles of Jesus. So there's a little bit of extra stuff in the back. There's Here's the introduction to the New American Standard Bible. If you haven't, uh, if you're totally new to the New American Standard Bible, I recommend you read this. It'll help you understand uh, the philosophy behind this translation. And then this explanation of general format will also explain to you some of the features. Like they use um, the quotation marks and the capitalization. They have an explanation of how they do that in here. And then they use italics for quotes from the... Um, for the supplied words, and then small caps here, here's the thing I wanted to point out. 
They use small caps in the New Testament when they're quoting the Old Testament. Oh, here's a note about the Striden. So they do have a note about the Striden. That's cool. When I was looking through this before, I didn't notice that. Here we go. Here's the format of the Bible. It is a single column, um, verse by verse Bible. As you can see, it's each verse starts on its own line. So, verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, and then verse 4. Um, all the verse numbers are black in here. From the videos I've seen of the Skylar Striden, these verse numbers here would be in red. This would have been in red, and this would have been in red. And then down here, for the, for the references for here, down here, would be in red. Um... So it's, like I was saying, single column, verse by verse. And then down here are the um, cross-references and footnotes. I'll go a little further into it and explain that in a second. Here we go. Now, for the cross-references and footnotes, the cross-references are these inner parts. you got the dividing line here. So the ones here to the inner side of the page are cross-references. And the ones to the outside are footnotes. I'll go a little closer so you can see that. It's a really nice Bible. Now I'm going to go a little further into this towards the Psalms. And here's how the Psalms look. It's still verse by verse, but they give it more of a poetic look as compared to the way it is in the prose sections. But the verse numbers are kind of out here. And bold verse numbers indicate when you have a new paragraph. It's, this is such a really nice Bible. It's one of the my favorite Bibles that I've ever gotten a chance to look at. And having a copy of this is really good. I ordered this from Lockman uh, as soon as I found out that this was available. And this is probably one of my favorite Bibles I've ever ordered. Let's get to the New Testament. And it's black letter in the New Testament. To after Revelation, if I can get to Revelation. Revelation 16, 22. Here we go. Last chapter of the Bible. And if I can turn the page properly. Hold on. Two pages are sticking together. And I'm using my left hand to turn pages, and I'm right-handed. So, it's going to take me a few tries to get this. Here we go. The Bible ends on page 1800. And then you got the topical index to the Bible. Um, it's really nice. The subjects are in bold, and then it gives you places where those subjects occur in the Bible, which is really nice. And then after that, is, if I can turn to it, we got book introductions. And then a thing of parables of Jesus. And then on the next, 
on the other side of it, if I can get it to turn. So hard when you're close to the end. Here we go. And then we have the Miracles of Jesus, and then we have the Lachman Foundation Maps. They have a really nice color to them. They look like they'll be very helpful for me to find my place in the back when I want to see where different things are. And then to the back of the Bible. It's really well constructed for being a non-premium Bible. Um, I really enjoy it. I highly recommend it. it um, if you ever get the chance to order one of these from Lachman, I'll put Lachman's website in the description too. Um, this is really cool. I'm, I'm glad Lachman was able to come out with their version of the Striden. It's a really good Bible. It's got a really, really nice feature. Oh, that was one other feature I almost forgot to point out. Between, the, one of the differences between this and the Striden is that the wide the margins here are wider than they are in the strident and the strident are an inch wide in this they're an inch and a quarter wide so that's another interesting feature so i hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next video